Hi, Colin Kirkland is my name from Bermad Water Technologies. The purpose of this brief video demonstration is to discuss the design, the features and the benefits of the Bermad 400 series control valves used in pumping stations, in automated filtration systems and in-field control valves used within the irrigation industry. The history of the Bermad 400 series valve is it was designed and started to be manufactured more than 25 years ago due to some inherent flaws that were involved with irrigation valves in the industry at that time. And this video demonstration will discuss some of the features and benefits why the 400 series valve overcome these issues. The challenge by most manufacturers when using valves in irrigation is that when the diaphragm is the primary product which is used to control the opening and closing of the valve, you need a combination of both mechanical strength in a diaphragm and sensitivity for flexibility in the diaphragm in order for the product to regulate and to modulate on and off. And traditional valves like weir type diaphragm valves uh, have suffered over many years through uh, differential pressure conditions and also in higher velocities that the diaphragm will tend to get dragged to the downstream side. And when that happens, we tend to get premature failure of the diaphragms and poor life expectancy of the valve. So, what did Bermad do? They incorporated a valve which has a, a very, very strong diaphragm, which also has am amazing sensitivity but really importantly, the diaphragm is completely supported inside the valve body right around the circumference. The net result is the diaphragm can only move in and out of the valve body and cannot get dragged to the downstream side. The net result is the Bermad 400 series valve has a diaphragm and a design that's designed to last the long run without failure of the diaphragm. Now, the challenges which a manufacturer has in the irrigation industry is you want a valve with a diaphragm that's able to control under very high differential pressure conditions and also be very sensitive to regulate pressures and flows within an irrigation system. And in order to do that, when you're using a single diaphragm as the main component which is controlling the flows and the pressures in the system, um, if you were to make a diaphragm that was very sensitive, you'd make it out of a very thin material. But the problem with a thin material is it distorts very easily and it fails. If you make the diaphragm very rigid and very strong, uh, the problem is it loses its sensitivity. So it's a real challenge for manufacturers to come up with a good diaphragm design. And subsequently, most manufacturers will have four, even five different diaphragms in one size of valve in order to encapsulate the different pressure and flow conditions that are required in each case. What has Bermad done? Really cleverly, they have made one single diaphragm. One single diaphragm that encapsulates a very, very strong section of the valve at the bottom where we, would, we need very good mechanical strength. And at the same time, we have uh, the flexible section at the top of the diaphragm that gives the valve the ability to regulate really sensitively and really well. So what's the net result? The net result is one diaphragm for the Bermad 400 series valve enables it to operate from pressures less than five meters up to 160 meters of pressure without deformation and for the long term. A very important aspect of any control valve being used in the field where it's uh, basically being told to open and close to run waters out to sprinklers or to drip irrigation line is that at the end of an irrigation shift the valve has to have the ability to shut down and to shut the water supply off drip tight. Now in many irrigation systems when you turn the pumps off at the end of the system uh, there's virtually no pressure in, in the valves themselves and the valves have to seal correctly. Now, typical weir type diaphragm design valves require pressure to push the diaphragm out and to keep the valve actually closed. But when the pump turns off, that's not possible. So the result is you actually have leakage of the valve uh, when it's supposed to be turned off. That can create um, partial drainage of the pipeline prior to that. It can have excessive um, wet spots in the, in the paddock or in the orchard that can create mildew and other sorts of issues. What Bermad did to overcome that really cleverly 
is they made the diaphragm to have the ability to be absolutely drip tight closed with zero pressure. And how it does that is that the bottom of the diaphragm is a complete flat surface. And as you can see inside the valve, we have a 360 degree section which is completely flat. So we have a flat on flat surface with a parallel spring on top. The result is it, it's absolutely drip tight closed regardless whether there's pressure there or not. So it overcomes the issue of the valves leaking. The most critical aspect of any control valve is its ability to regulate and control pressures and flows under the wide variety of different pressure and flow conditions that you'll experience in the irrigation industry. How does the Bermad do that and how has it done it for 25 years with great success? Well, we know that the valve, the, the valve diaphragm is completely supported 360 degrees by the body itself, so it makes the valve very, very stable. Now, many valves, when you get down to very low opening conditions, can tend to chatter, where they may tend to open and close and resonate up and down a little. How does the Bermad valve overcome that? Well, imagine that I am the diaphragm of the valve standing between two walls. When the diaphragm comes down to almost the closed position, the diaphragm pushes out against the walls of the valve. And by doing that, makes the valve incredibly stable, even if the percentage open is very, very small. So the net result is, if you're looking for a control valve in irrigation, that is a, an amazing performing valve that regulates under all operating conditions, the Bermad 400 series valve has done this for 25 years with great success. All right, so we've described how the valve operates and its features and benefits. What about the range? The valves start from 20 millimeter all the way through to 400 millimeter in size. The connections, well, they start off with 20 millimeter up to 80 millimeter with threaded BSP uh, connections. And that's available in both a globe pattern or an angle pattern valve. In the larger sizes, from 50 millimeter through to 400 millimeter, they're available with a flanged configuration as we see here. And that's available in a multitude of different flange drillings to suit your requirements. And in the smaller ranges, you can get, as well as a globe pattern valve, we also have the angled pattern valve to make it easy to install in some applications. So we have the complete range of valves if you're designing an irrigation system to match the flow requirements which you have for an irrigation design. The Bermad 400 series, very distinctive green valve for the irrigation industry. With these features and benefits and over 25 years of proven performance for the long term in the irrigation industry, why not consider the Bermad 400 series when next considering your irrigation design? For more information, contact your nearest Bermad sales office, see us on the website at bermad.com.au or go to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.